everybody. How y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck how it works? What up? What up? Man as a respect man. Hi your girl. Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. All you are new right on over here, special welcome to you. Thank you so very much. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning of this journey and you're still here now, manners and respect to you all. Now today, this video, you might hear my oil right over here. We are pre-eating some oil and we have some garlic in there been flavoring it. So we are pre-eating it and almost the high. And if you can look right on over here, so you see a whole entourage of things are going over here. I have been making a homemade barbecue sauce. It was intentional for me to make one when I did the barbecue fried chicken. But the time when I looked, I didn't have everything. So I just used a bottle of pre-made. So right on over here, let me first tell you, we are going to be doing today, today, barbecue fried chicken. I want it to be in, I'm sorry, barbecue fried fish. I don't know what happened. It's just so hot, y'all. It is so, so hot in Jamaica. Something is wrong. So we are doing today barbecue fried fish. It's going to be the same fry and then, but we'll show you the difference. So I want it to be all in and in. Now, this is my homemade barbecue sauce that I have done. And it is here being thickening up. Look at it. You can see the heat. I hope the camera is catching it. We're gonna, I'm gonna leave it to cool down that by the time I'm ready for it, it has the body. So as soon as it cools down, it thickens up. And you don't worry yourself one bit because I will be giving you that recipe. I've had it for the longest while and didn't even remember that I had it on my list of to-do videos. I'm gonna be giving you that barbecue sauce recipe for your holidays. And I'm also, when I do that video, gonna show you how you put different stuff to it to make it your own to do different types of meat okay so now we're using today we have our oil here being preheated we're trying to get our garlic to flavor the oil we don't want them to burn so we have to eat on that we're gonna be doing some we're gonna be frying off some fish i'm using trout trout fish and i cut them to this size they have been cleaned washed properly washed with vinegar and lime juice and I have them right here. And all I'll be seasoning them with is some salt and pepper. I will not be flouring them. We want to get them as crispy as we can. Just gonna give it a little pour there, not to go too far. I'm using trout. You can use any fish of choice. And these are my garlic. Okay. So the garlic's are out and all that, and all of that. So I'll just be properly dried. They must be properly dried, properly dried. And all I'm gonna be seasoning my fish with today is just a little salt and pepper. Let a little go down right in here, but be careful. As remember, so the fish have been born in us. So use your fish of choice, properly dried fish oil properly heated and we are going to use the oil pan the meat almost to not fully oil because you know you fry fish on medium we want them crispy as possible we want to check what is happening in the oil and this look like it can go on don't crowd your pot do not crowd we are going to be frying them like two pieces at a time in this size pot in a jersey mm -hmm. so we want them fried and remember you are going to fry them until they are crispy. I have my water over there, and my water is over there. Can you know I use my water <coughs> to um absorb this fishiness of whatever this piece here? Look at it. So you know you put this right here, and you gently, gently, don't let the bones catch you. You put this one, give this one another pour at the side here. They are tall, they were tall enough. So if you realize, look at this now, I slice them. So there are some tall fish. Tall fish. So, you have got to know how to fry these though, else they'll break on you. You have got to fry them until they are, them release themselves on one side. Then you turn. So we are going, it's like almost like deep fry. Be careful, you see what just happened. Almost like deep fry. So we're going to be frying those off. 
and when I'm ready to turn, I'll come and show you how you're to turn these two. You want to keep them all crispy firm before you come. Okay, now family, let me clarify something. You, we want them firm, firm, not crispy, firm. But when we want when we want them crispy, we fry on like we fry them in less oil and, and medium. They are almost to eye, not fully eye, and they are almost in. They're not fully deep fat, you know. Look at that. It's not being fully deep fat. So we want them firm, not crispy. So look at this. You see, you come and you put the thing under there, and it and it, it moves easily. It, it lifts easily. I'm using this because I don't want to stick it. Okay. So we found out that we could use another piece in there. So we put it in. So look at this. Firm, firm. These are not so really crispy. These are firm. So let me correct it. We want them firm, brown and firm. So look here, we're going to fry them off. All of these that we have here, getting them all firm and pretty. So when we finish fry them at this phase, when they are finished, they will be properly cooked them up inside them or properly cooked. So I'll show you how we are going to apply this barbecue sauce to this properly cooked fish already. Remember when we fried the chicken off, it was a properly cooked, remember? Chicken take longer and fish to cook, you know. So I'm going to show you how we are going to apply the sauce and how long we are going to put it in the oven. The next segment when you see me, all these fish will be properly fried off and firm. We'll show you how to apply the barbecue sauce, show you the temperature of what you must put it in the oven and the designated time for it in the oven. We soon will come. Okay now family, the fish is all been, it's all, it's been all fried off and look at how you have it. You see all them firm? They are not all that crispy, no, but they are firm. Eggs and all. Okay, if you want your fish head, nicely if you enjoy it. Now, trout is not a very firm fish. It's not a firm nature fish. So I'm telling you, if you are using your firm nature fish, it will be even better. And I use this type of fish to show you. So if you just do as you are told in the video, just let them fry until they can release themselves. From, you know, you don't use a fork. Use this thing that I showed you. To as once you go and they are not being um, once you touch them and they're not ready to turn, leave them. They will when they are ready to turn. They will release themselves. So remember, if you all do do a lot of cooking, know that you know that trout is not a firm nature fish. And for you to get them like this, that means they were properly done. So you get a firm nature fish like your 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 your. your Parrot and your, your, your snapper and your grunt and all them other from nature fish. You're good to go. Okay, I have my casserole inside my oven. We have preheated our oven to 170. I'm a grease my casserole and put it inside there. I'm have it like that. It's greased. What I want to do now, I want to look at the consistency of the homemade barbecue sauce. I made it and it, I left it in my deep freeze to get cooled down. So look at it. Perfect, that's how we want it. Prettier than even the one that we had there for the chicken. No, wait, let me get right in on this video. You want to come now and you're gonna be using your your brush. You're gonna be basting your fish. I'm just gonna show you one or two pieces. You want to take this nice thick barbecue sauce and you want to coat the fish here from side to side, from corner to corner. From the east, from the west, from the north, and from the south. Let me show you. So you want to be coating your fish. If you can't get on the inside, try put your brush on the inside. You're in on it, camera girl. You're going to get a little messiness on your hand, but nothing wrong with that. Or your food, yeah, look about. Mm? Your hands must be clean. Your hands should be clean. You're looking about your own food. So... It's gonna take a little time but I'm just showing you I don't think I have to show you two pieces I'll just show you only one no matter matter your little mess by your and your pipe the right there so when you're done you wash your hands number one this is how you want to coat it so let us go right now these are gonna take a little time coat up all of these nice little pieces of fish and when we return you'll see how we are gonna shove it in the oven and feel long soon come okay now family I'll finish coat it off and we casserole it almost too little, but we try to work it out in the long run. So look at this now. 170 degrees Celsius, 350 Fahrenheit. And we are put it in there. So no more in the middle of the oven. Seven minutes. Seven minutes the longest. 
when we return we'll be plate we'll be presenting to you okay now family we are out of the oven we just came out okay seven minutes the most you just want this the eat we just take this nice thick homemade barbecue sauce and just make it just suck to these fish look at this look at them let me plate up a piece for you so you need your tongue now you have some little, you will need some little tongue skills now and you just take it wow you see it okay so you're gonna take your tongue and all we did we just use because we didn't use any water whilst making this barbecue sauce so you just we just use a little water to you know, to let it be a little more you know runnier just to serve it with just showing you a please let me just plate up a piece of this for you okay this is what you have this is how you have it from my kitchen to yours from my jamaican kitchen to your family table to your christmas dinner to your thanksgiving table and most of all to your stomach and to your palate it is barbecue it is barbecue oh my god it is barbecue fried fish barbie fried fish you saw me i did it from scratch use your fish of choice this is good you're not for ask nobody if this is nice who told you or did you know that you could have barbie fried fish looking so good please do enjoy if you have liked this video remember to give me a thumbs up man. thumbs me up eh? share them videos yeah and if you are not yet subscribed please subscribe please i beg of you and when you do subscribe just press the bell there it will notify you when i have been up when i have uploaded another video i hello this is christmas a christmas now you know and them thing you have run for the channel you know and it's it's quite evident that the christmas i got turned up remember to like share subscribe leave your comments below principal and decent you're all so good you're all so loving so caring thank you thank you so very 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 much thank you we are growing slowly but surely and as we grow as we go we grow thank you so much and if you notice i keep saying we because it is all about you and i okay it's we and me alone it is all about us today's post notification shout out goes to stacy mon stacy mon i don't know if you like this thing and if you like it please big up yourself and make yourself some okay and that's about it thank you once more remember our donation button is up would like to make a donation we'll be so grateful thanks so much in advance because we would appreciate it because the things that we need to do for some of the um, recipes that you're requesting, they're very expensive. And this is Jamaica. Thanks, thanks, thanks once more. Debbie from Dongayad, bless. No stress.